So I'm, I feel like in my life, I'm always constantly trying to catch up. And so hold on, my computer's talking to me. Today's a work day. Um, I've had a couple of these and I just decided to work and not film, which kind of makes it hard. Anyway, this has been a lot. So today I'm working on hopefully two clients quilts. And last time I worked, I finished this. This is a donated quilt. They're little and I love quilting them because they don't uh, take a lot of time to quilt, but it's to bless someone. Hold on my dog. And so last week I was working on a client's quilt and I'm, I'm like a week behind because the custom quilt that I was doing um, took a week longer than I expected. And so anyhow, I'm a week behind. I'm really good at time management and getting things done on a timely manner, but at this current time, I need to manage myself because I'm girl struggling. I'm struggling. So I'm gonna take this off the leader, get my computer going, get the long arm going. I'm gonna oil her too. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna start today. It's late though. I'm starting at 2.30 because I had a whole bunch of errands to do. And anyway, I still didn't finish all my errands. And so I feel a lot of pressure. I had to reload the program because the girlfriend didn't want to turn on. If you don't turn on, I can't work. But anyway, we're gonna be okay. So we're gonna remove this quilt from the long arm. So look how beautiful this quilt is. She turned on, oh my gosh, she turned on. We're gonna remove her. It's just a sweet little quilt. One of the things that I really like about my system is I have a quick setup. So I already put the back fabric to the leaders. Over here I have like five quilts that are ready to quilt because I already put the leaders. You see the thread with the bobbin. It makes set up really quickly, so. There's a long back fabric. One of the things I worry about when I'm doing long back fabrics it is so easy, or large fine fabrics. It is so easy to um, get pleats in the back. And it rolls unevenly. This rolled already. Okay. Then I have the batting to put on. <laughs> I got the quilt started. She's a gorgeous quilt. I'll show you clips right here. <laughs> this is the quilt. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh. And then this is the top of the quilt. I wanted a very simple, easy design to quilt. I picked a very soft mint thread. And this gorgeous. Uh, this quilt took about probably 30 minutes to quilt all the way across on the first row. And something to think about, I used a bobbin and I had to add a new one when it got to here. So each row is going to take about a bobbin and a little bit more. Um, it is medium to lightly quilted, it's not over quilted but it does fill up the quilting space really beautifully. I'm trying to make sure that the spacing, that it lays, that the next design hits beautifully over here. Um, the quilt thread is beautiful. And that's, it's a very light mint.
This quilt is a paper piece. These blocks are beautiful. That is a beautiful block. Oh, I love this. It took me seven minutes to restart the machine. And so probably like a row and a half will take an hour and a half maybe. We'll see, because I started at three. Look at that bottom row. This is what it looks like on the long arm. Honestly, she's beautifully made. Look at those beautiful blocks. It is a fully paper pieced. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I was outside, it's like 107. So I wanted to, I was watering my rose bush. But here, I wanna show you the quilts I finished. I finished this sweet little quilt top. Isn't she beautiful? Um, she did the block swap. beautiful I finished this but I didn't film it I think it's a beautiful quilt I love me some birds Clint gave me two quilts so I need to, before I call her, I need to finish her other quilt. So she only makes one trip here. Beautiful. This was part of the sweet honeybee. These are scraps that were left over. Beautiful. So now we're doing the waiting game. So I ended up bringing a project up here. I'm part of a round robin on TikTok and I'm part of group three. And so today I am going to make my block so I could ship it with my other quilts that I shipped to Dallas and so I'm going to be working on that and I'll show you some of the blocks that these people are making that are just gorgeous.